Alrighty, so we have kind of an exciting update today. Lots is going on, lots is arriving, lots is, un is being unpackaged, and lots is... Yeah, just lots is happening. <laughs> to make it simpler. Um, so super exciting day. Um, when we got there, it looks like there were signs of kind of construction in this little area here. Um, there were trees removed along the edge. There were smaller trees removed, bigger trees removed, and then trees removed down back there as well. So lots of tree removal going on in an area that isn't associated with the coaster. Yes, you heard that right. This isn't associated with the coaster from what I know. Um, so I have no idea what's going on here. Just thought I'd show you guys. Now this is the juicy, exciting stuff. So as you see here, a computer system for the transfer track is being unloaded. Um, so this is for the storage area and transfer track. Um, and it looks like it's a it's a ride computer, so they're able to move the track piece from the coaster section to the storage area and transfer off a train. That's what I'm assuming that piece is. That's what it looks like. Um, correct me down below if you know more about coasters than I do, and I will be glad to correct myself. But that's what I'm assuming it is. Super cool. Um, so we know from footage we obtained today at the B&M track facility that more shipping containers are on their way with probably more ride metal objects for the transfer storage and uh, station. So that's super exciting. And what's in those cases is even more exciting. I did have to remove some footage from this video just to be a little fair for Canada's Wonderland. I'm assuming that they're gonna be starting their teasing campaign soon, very soon, fingers crossed, come on. I mean, Six Legs has started, Carolyn's has started. Where are you teasing campaign? Um, I'm kidding. I, I expect it will start soon. Um, we're 36 days away from announcement, so maybe they'll start 30 days away from announcement with a countdown and some teasers. Um, but yes, lots of unloading, rearranging, and it looks like they're even the T-Rex is spying on the construction site, as you just saw in the background. <laughs> Um, but, uh, yeah, lots going on in terms of prepping for vertical construction. Super exciting. I mean, even when you see the construction site, lots has happened just from today alone. Um, and at the end of this video, there's a bit of a teaser for you guys to kind of go through and play, like, I guess, Blue's Clues and find some little numbers thrown in there for you guys. Um, so once we get over to the crates, I'll start describing a bit of what's going on. But this, these objects in the crates arrived from Switzerland or Germany. Um, we're not quite sure. We're assuming Germany, actually, um, as the shipping receipt was from there. So super exciting that, you know, these items arrived from Germany. Uh, it is for the lift hill. It's also for the, the drop. Um, and uh, yeah. Uh, there's an interesting code that many of you know from my Instagram and what we saw today that says DMG. The track says DMG and some parts for the coaster say DMG. Very interesting topic of discussion for what DMG could stand for. Typically dive machine coasters are just marked with um, D or DM. So DMG is a new one and I have not seen it, correct me down below again if I'm wrong, but I have not seen it used on any other dive coaster. So one could ask with also what we're seeing on you know the construction site and the things I've presented in my videos, is this a dive machine giga? Well, I don't wanna burst anyone's bubbles. Um, I personally am pulling away from the dive machine giga concept. Um, as you know in all my videos, I have stressed to take what we're saying about the Dive Machine Giga with a grain of salt and that we're just presenting evidence on the construction site as we see it. Now we are not saying it is impossible, we are in fact actually still seeing evidence in these shipping containers that could suggest a Giga Dive Coaster. We are just pulling away from the concept ourselves as we are also seeing evidence for other heights. Um, it's a very tough situation going on. In fact, when we get over to the construction site, I'm going to describe to you something compared to Valraven that's also very unique that could be the world's tallest inversion, um, or it could suggest otherwise. Um, so there's so much things and possibilities going on with this coaster right now, and we just need a teasing campaign to help solidify some of our knowledge and numbers that we know of 
um, for this coaster to help kind of start actually giving you guys what we know and think about this coaster as an actual fact. We just can't do it quite yet. Um, we This video took a little longer because we at first we were going to come out here and say it is a giga because um, we found some numbers um, that suggest 301 might be a possible number. Just to throw that number out there, 301 might be a possible number. The length of the lift chain might be um, that number because there's 16 crates and one crate is for the drop. Um, and these are the lift hill pieces. And we kind of know um, the estimated length of each lift chain as well. We're just not ready to make that call yet on if it's a giga or not. Um, but me personally, I am starting to move away from the Giga Theory for a couple of reasons. Um, and then I'm also going to present um, uh, some reasons on why it might be a Giga. We're actually going to make another video on that, the Giga versus not Giga, tomorrow. But for this video, we're just going to talk about um, the lift hill. So as you see there, DMG for the drop. And then uh, we're not going to zoom in on those other pieces of paper as it's not needed and um, yeah so other than that we know that the lift hills here the ride computer systems or the um, ability for them to be there is there and then also the electrical from a third party company has also arrived too it's it's crazy how much has arrived for this coaster and how much is ready for vertical construction in fact we also learned that that weird structure being built around the lift hill is not theming it is what looks like a basement for electrical and ride computing systems uh, whatever you want to call it <laughs> um, also for the gearbox for the lift hill as our um, pre-lift is a little lower than Val Ravens it looks like our lift hill might actually start at ground level um, could be wrong um, we are just going off of what we're seeing so far but yes the foundation for this has been poured um, as you can tell, and uh, yeah, they, they are getting closer and closer to being ready to set up the lift hill, um, the station, the brake run. I mean, I would expect in the next week, even this week possibly, to see some signs of vertical construction. Now, electrical is off to a fantastic start for the tunnel. I mean, um, from starting just a little bit to suddenly it's wrapped around the whole tunnel. I see the emergency flood relief has been installed at the base there, right there. Um, and it almost looks like there's an ability to have water in the tunnel. I mean, that seems really weird. Um, but yes, electrical running along the bottom, electrical running down the side of the right side, um, LED lighting um, being installed in the tunnel, lots going on in the tunnel. Um, there were probably a group of two, I think, or three construction workers down there from Hartwell installing electrical. But yet, yeah, no, so this is where it gets interesting. So compared to Valraven, Valraven has that one footer outside of its first part of the Imolin. Then it has these two footers, which measure 14 feet across um, for the first part of the Imolin. Ours are 37 feet across right there. We measured it today. 37 feet there. Now there's two more footers on the big Imolin for um, Valraven that measure 42 feet or 42 meters across. And ours um, are probably going to be uh, much or sorry 42 feet across and ours might if there is more be a lot longer than that if the second pair is so for example Valraven's two footers out of the Imolin measure at um, 14 feet ours are 37 feet so and then it's 42 feet for the second pair on their Imolin and we don't have our second pair yet so one can either assume that either our Imolin loop is smaller than Valraven's and that's all or um, our second pair is going to be much larger and that does confirm a larger Imolin loop. It is up in the air, we can't confirm anything yet because it could always go either or or either way in this conversation. As you can see, the more information we find out about this coaster, the more confused we actually get. Um, which is why you hear me going, oh, I'm not sure if this is going to be a Giga anymore. Um, so it's super interesting, regardless of us um, finding blueprints, we don't know some facts on this coaster, but we do know some. So in this picture, there are 10 clues, excluding the word giga question mark pointing at DMG there. 10 clues. Find them, um, and maybe these relate to the coaster. Again, we are teasing our own version of stuff we're finding along the way. This is not linked to Canada's Wonderland at all. 
and these are not confirmed facts about the ride or what's going on. These are just our speculation and rumors um, surrounding what we're finding and seeing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Um, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, stay tuned tomorrow for our Giga versus not Giga video. We're going to present facts from what we even found today in tomorrow's video. Um, so stay tuned for that. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are enjoying our content covering this coaster and finding things out slowly. Um, and yeah, we're down to 36 days for an announcement. That's super exciting. Carowinds is down to probably the same time frame, so everything is super exciting. Anyways, thanks so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, guys. Bye.